All right, number eight. Now, I'm going to rewrite this right off the bat since I don't like square roots. Or yeah, whatever. I'm going to take this and say it's x times x minus 7 over x to the fourth plus 5 to the one third power. Now you can take the natural log of both sides. So the natural log of y is going to be equal to the natural log of this. Can I just take out that one third right off the bat? Alright, so one third times the natural log of x times x minus 7 over x to the fourth plus 5. Good? Now, here's a nice method that you can work with. Um, if you work in the top to start with, we can take the natural log of y is equal to 1 third, and I'm going to expand this. It will be the natural log of x from the first part plus the natural log of x minus 7. And now I'm dividing, so it's going to be minus the natural log of x to the fourth plus 5. So you could have taken this and subtracted it and expanded it that way first, but you can kind of think of this as the top part, x times x minus 7 times 1 over this, and that would have got you your negative anyway. So if you go plus, plus, minus, as far as natural logs go, you're going to be in business if you start in the top. But make sure if there's more than one thing being multiplied in the bottom that it's plus, plus, minus, minus, because everything in the bottom is going to get a minus, the natural log. So be careful about that. Um, now, can we differentiate? All right. Natural log of y is y prime over y. Then we're going to get one third times. All right. Uh, natural log of x is one over x plus natural log of x minus seven. The derivative is one over x minus seven. Well, first off. Um, if you remember what I said the other day, take the chain rule every single time that you take a derivative and you're in business. Derivative of x is 1, so we don't multiply anything. Derivative of x minus 7 is 1, so we don't multiply by anything. So if you remember to, if you say to yourself, chain rule all the time, the chain rule is inter eternal when you're talking about derivatives. This is going to be 1 over x to the fourth plus 5. What's the chain rule of this? Yeah, this is 4x to the third power. So, in this case, there's not a lot of cleanup. So, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to multiply by y, and I'm going to do a couple things at once. I'm going to do a cleanup because that's just going to end up there. My y is just this crazy thing, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the one-third, put it out front. I'm going to take the cube root of the crazy x times x minus 7 over x to the fourth plus 5 times everything that's on the inside here. 1 over x plus 1 over x minus 7 minus, now I'll put that 4x cubed in the top because that's the only cleanup that's really going to happen. Um, and then x to the fourth plus 5. Can you imagine trying to do that using, um, because you'd get one third times this times the chain rule of all this. This is a combination of the product and the quotient rule. But the nice thing about the logarithmic side of it is it actually is the whole combination of the product and the quotient rule simplified. Or it's at least simplified down to something that's easier for us to deal with. Now if we check the answers, we should get something that looks very similar to this. There's your one third. There's the crazy cube root. One over x. One over 
x minus 7 minus 4x cubed over x fourth plus 5. Again, we're good to go. And I know the other day I said simplify afterwards. Don't bother simplifying those. <laughs> I, honestly, do you really want to try to simplify 8 or 9? There, there'll be m much crying, and you don't need that. You don't want to cry in math. <laughs>